Are smart telescopes a game changer for astronomy or just another tech gimmick? Today, we're diving deep into this cutting edge gadget to see if it lives up to the hype. Stick around as we break down the pros and cons to determine whether smart telescopes are the next big thing in astrophotography. First off, let's talk about ease of use. Traditional astrophotography can be intimidating with all the complex setups and alignment procedures. Enter the smart telescopes. These telescopes are designed to take the pain out of stargazing. Their intuitive apps allow users to connect seamlessly, browse a comprehensive catalog of celestial objects, and let the telescope handle everything. Alignment, tracking, focusing, and even live stacking images in real time. For anyone who wants to jump into astrophotography quickly, whether you're a newbie or a seasoned astronomer looking to bypass the hassle, these devices are a breath of fresh air. Next, let's discuss portability. Smart telescopes are incredibly lightweight and easy to carry. Whether you're heading out for a camping trip or just want to enjoy the night sky from your backyard, these telescopes make it easy to explore. Gone are the days of hauling heavy gear. This device is all about convenience and spontaneity. Now, let's talk about price. Starting around $499, the smart telescopes like Dwarf 3 or Seastar S50 are competitively priced compared to traditional setups, which can easily run into thousands of dollars. If you've been curious about astrophotography but didn't want to break the bank, these telescopes present a fantastic entry point, offering features that are accessible without sacrificing quality. However, no product is without its downsides. One major limitation of smart telescopes like the Seastar is the mount. Most of these telescopes use an alt-azimuth mount, which isn't ideal for long exposure astrophotography. With longer exposures, you may encounter field rotation, causing stars to appear as streaks instead of sharp points. While some alternatives, like the Dwarf 3, offer equatorial capabilities, they're still best only for shorter exposures. Another area where smart telescopes fall short is upgradability. These devices function as locked systems, meaning you can't easily swap out parts or upgrade hardware. If you're someone who likes to evolve your gear over time, this can be a significant drawback. Traditional setups allow for flexibility, letting you mix and match components as your skills progress. With smart telescopes, you're pretty much stuck with what you buy. Let's also address image quality. The basic smart telescopes like Seastar S50 comes with a two megapixel sensor, which is relatively low compared to other astrophotography options. While it can capture stunning images of deep sky objects like galaxies and nebulae, planetary imaging may be a bit of a challenge due to the smaller aperture. Additionally, larger objects may require cropping, which can result in missing out on details. The Dwarf 3, while slightly different, shares similar limitations in this regard. The built-in app allows users to stack images live, which is a big win for beginners looking to impress their friends without getting bogged down in post-processing. However, the app's features are somewhat basic and more geared toward fun than high performance. For those who want to refine their astrophotography skills, using external software for image processing may yield better results. Light pollution is another issue to consider. While the smart telescopes are equipped with a dew heater and basic filters, their performance can suffer in areas with high light pollution. Bright city lights can wash out celestial details, making quality captures more difficult. Finally, let's talk about battery life. Smart telescope batteries are decent for shorter four to five hour sessions. However, if you're planning a long night of stargazing, you might find the battery running low. You can charge it via USB-C while in use, but that means you'll need a power bank or access to a plug. Definitely not ideal when you're out in nature. So, who are smart telescopes for? They are designed for casual astrophotographers who want a straightforward, hassle-free experience. Basic One, like Dwarf 3 or S50, makes it accessible for newcomers eager to explore the cosmos without a huge financial commitment. However, if you're an advanced astrophotographer or someone looking to grow your skills over time, you might find the limitations, especially regarding the mount and upgradability hold you back. You may want a system with more customizable features and better long exposure performance. In summary, smart telescopes provide remarkable convenience, portability, and affordability, 
making them fantastic choices for beginners and casual astrophotographers. Still, their limitations in upgradability, field rotation issues, and performance in light-polluted areas may deter serious enthusiasts or those interested in advanced astrophotography. While these smart telescopes offer a fun and accessible experience, anyone aspiring for deeper astronomical pursuits might want to consider investing in a more advanced, customizable setup down the line. Regardless of your choice, smart telescopes are making the night sky more accessible than ever. And that's something to celebrate. Thanks for watching. We want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to EDSLA for more exciting astronomy content and stay tuned for our next cosmic journey.